Tonight is Friday Night Lights round two for the Cougars, and they're taking on the Utah State Aggies. We'll have to redeem ourselves from last year's loss. CookTube reporter Sean Gordon is here with us. How is this momentum from last week's game going to carry into this game against the Aggies? That could play a big role in tonight's game with BYU coming off that much needed win against Central Florida and Utah State having that heartbreaking overtime loss to Colorado State. But there is one matchup that I'm especially looking forward to coming into tonight. It's the unstoppable force against the immovable object. The biggest matchup in tonight's game will be the relentless rushing attack of Utah State against BYU's stingy front seven. Utah State enters the game with one of the nation's best offenses. Standout running back Robert Turbin and dual threat quarterback Chucky Keaton know how to light up the highlight reels. While their record may not show it, the entire Aggie team seems to have a new life this year, and the Cougars have noticed. The big thing, I think they play hard, and anytime you know, where the teams are, are equally matched, uh, you know, it, it's going to be a good game. BYU will counter with what many consider to be one of the best rush defenses they've had in years, giving up less than 90 yards per game on the ground. Both teams have question marks, though. BYU's offense has shown flashes of promise, but lacks consistency, while Utah State's defense has struggled to stop the pass. The two teams seem to be the most evenly matched they've been in a long time, which means it will be the little things that lead one of them to victory. The team really who goes out and executes the best is going to win, and I, we've had a good week of preparation, and uh, I'm just excited to go out there and, and play. I think it's safe to say there will be a little revenge on BYU's mind tonight also after losing to the Aggies last year. So what are the keys to a BYU win tonight? I think there's going to be three main things that BYU needs to focus on. First, they need to stop Robert Turbin in the running game. Second, they need to win the turnover battle. And third, they need to convert their drives into touchdowns, which they haven't been very good at so far this year. I think another big question is, will Jay get more than one touchdown? I, I think you will. Uh, looking at it, if they can get the running game going and, and establish that, then it'll open the field up for heaps and he'll be able to have one of his better games. Thanks, Sean. Thanks.